this is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. I'm on a job this morning, and let me show you what we got going on here. So I'm at a commercial site here, and what happened here is the business hired a company, a grading company, to put in this retention pond right there. And that seems to be working fine. That was built to the city's specs, what they wanted. But what is happening here is we've got a, a big parking lot across here and all the water is just like running straight down into that retention pond. And so take a look at what's, what's been going on here. We're getting a bunch of gouging and the soil is eroding away right here. And what happens here is the pretty much the water is coming off the parking lot right here. And it's just like shooting across here and then it's kind of spreading out and causing problems all the way to the pond. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this down and put in a riprap channel and kind of just do like a beeline straight to the pond and try to keep this water contained so it's not going to be eroding. So we've got, they put in, somebody put in some riprap over here, which wasn't doing anything. And the company wasn't really too pleased with what happened with the pond. So they didn't want to hire that company again. And you can see over here, the sod that they put in is, is just kind of washing and sagging away here. So I'm going to try to cut the channel today. And I've got a hauler who's going to haul in probably about 80 tons of riprap. And so we'll get, I'm going to try to get going on this job today. You can see over here where we're getting a bunch of gouging going on. And I didn't really quote this as fixing this, but I guess I'll have to do that as well as part of this job. So I've got a hauler on the way. He's going to be hauling riprap for me. And then he's going to be back hauling, they call it the dirt. So my job this morning is to get a big pile of dirt here next to the parking lot so whenever he comes to drop off his first load he can then I can load him back up with dirt and he can drop the dirt off. So that's what we're working on today. The ditch is coming along pretty well here. And so I want to talk about a couple things before I get any further. Let's take a look. We're falling pretty well coming across here. And then if you notice, they've got this pretty much flat and then it comes down and then it's flat again. And so in order to preserve my fall going across here, I'm having to cut through. This is almost like a terracing that they did to try to flatten the place out. But I'm having to dig down a little bit deeper to keep my fall going. And so I've got another little hump over here to get through. So I don't have to be super deep across here because the lay of the land is falling really, really well. But then once I get into this hump right here, then I'll have another pretty deep cut through there.
I'm over here at the sod place getting a pallet of sod. We are back out here today. We're gonna to get this hopefully started up and get a good chunk of it finished up. So I've got a bunch of help with me today. And we're getting some fabric cut out over here. We're trying to get a game plan. I think what we're going to do is start at the far end over here and lay our fabric so I'm not driving over the fabric and messing it all up like on our last <laughs> Rip Rap Channel job. We are making pretty good progress out here. So let's take a look. I've just been running loads of riprap with the skid steer and the guys have been in here spreading them. It's just a lot of hand work to get it to look nice. So Ronald and Jeremy are, fi are working on that, fixing that saw down there. I think I, I think I, I shouldn't have done that. Try offered to fix that area. That's just turning into a whole day's worth of labor, so. But hopefully we can get it done and looking good. Over here at the beginning of our channel, I did not dig this out. This has been my ramp. So now I'm to the point where I can back the machine in and dig all this out. Because I won't be needing my ramp anymore. So the guys are getting the, the big dump truck unloaded. Or getting the trailer unloaded from it. And we're going to get it over here and haul this dirt back. We are leaving a little pile of riprap for them. This was extra, so we're taking some back with us, but we thought that in case we need to touch something up or if they're still having some problems over here, so they were super happy about that. And then I've got a little bit of dirt left over here. 
I'm going to just use this to feather out our our mess, our work area. Then we'll get some seed and straw on and we'll be finishing up. We are finished with this job, so we just got finished cleaning up. We got everything seeded and strawed. And we fixed a couple of ruts over there that uh, that were messed up from the water. We had some extra dirt, so we went ahead and do that, did that. And can't wait to get back out here during the rain and see how we did. I'm back out here. It's been, I guess, about three months or so. So I wanted to check on this. We got a pretty good rain going on. So we have a ton of water that's coming down from the top of this driveway here. And so it looks like it's hitting the, the ground and then flowing along here. And so check this out. Our riprap channel is catching a ton of this water. Now some of it looks like it's flowing along down here a little ways. And so that's one of the things I wanted to check on here, but let's take a look. Let's take a walk down this channel and see how we're doing. So one of the main concerns I had was keeping the water in the channel and we just hit that part where it starts to get a little bit steeper and so far everything is staying inside the channel. It's like a river coming down through here. So we have a little bit, it looks like it's jumping out of the channel, but it's kind of still in there. But it's fanning out once it gets down here at the pond. So you can see that little offshoot right there. I'm not too terribly worried about that. But yeah. Boy, this thing is working pretty well. And it looks like their pond is doing okay too. So I wanted to get out here during the rain and see how things looked. And of course, show it to all of you all as well. So it looks like it's doing pretty well here. I'm pretty excited about that. If you remember, we left a little bit of riprap here just in case we needed to address some other issues. So that's one of the things I want to check on here and see how we're doing. See if we have another big channel forming or not anywhere. So there's our pile of riprap that we left on site. So it looks like the rest of this is just kind of dispersing and not causing a ton of erosion problems. So, wow, that was pretty cool. So that channel worked out pretty well for us. All right, I'll see you all later.